Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest TCS digital interview experience. This interview happened recently only on 9th June 2024 and it happened for a digital profile. So make sure that you watch this video till the end so that you can get to know the different different type of questions that are getting asked in the TCS interview. Guys, yesterday only we have launched the T in TCS important interview subject notes. These notes cover 10 subjects which have a dedicated PDF for each of the subject. C++, Java, Python, DBMS, SQL, coding questions, operating system, networking, managerial questions as well as HR questions. So all these notes are present on this particular on top mate and it is at a very feasible price for all of you. It is at just Rs 99. Okay. And you will be getting a dedicated PDF which will contain important interview questions for that subject come notes for that subject. So around 70 to 80 percent of these questions will be repeating in TCS interviews. So if you are preparing them, preparing for the interviews, then this particular notes will be very much useful for you. All the buy links are given in the description box. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit that like and subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys, the date of the interview is 9th June 2024. The duration of the entire interview was 35 minutes. The branch was IT. So the first question, as you all know, will be introduced about yourself. So may, I take ma many mock interviews. So there is one like suggestion to all of you that just write down the answer you want to speak uh, in the interview. Just write down the piece, uh, answer on a piece of paper and revise that answer like four to five times because many of you get stuck in this question. You are not prepared before and you get stuck in this question. But this question is very much important as per the interview is concerned. You should include your education background, your skills, your projects, your internships, your achievements, any extracurricular activities you have. All these things you can include in this answer and you can drive entire interview through this answer only. So make sure to prepare this well. If you are not confident in it, just write down on a piece of paper and just revise it five to six times. Okay, that will be good to you. Next question is what are the type of joints? So, okay. So after introduction, they start uh, directly jumped into DBMS. So what are types of joints? So in this different, there are different types of joints is left joint, inner joint, right joint and full outer joint. What is left joint? See left joint is all the rows which are present in the left table plus the rows which are, which are common in right and left table are present. Inner joint is only those rows which are present which are common in both the tables are as we will be getting as a result right join is the all the rows which are present in the right table plus all the rows which are common in right and left table we will be getting as an answer full outer join is all the rows which are present on the left table all the rows which are present in the right table and all the rows which are common in both left and right table we will be getting as an answer so i hope this question is clear to you next is explain the difference between second normal form and third normal form so a table is in second normal form if it is in one F, NF and all the non key attributes are fully functionally dependent on the primary key itself. There, that is, there is no partial dependency. Whereas in third, third normal form, a table is, is in three NF if it is in two NF, first of all, and all the attributes are functionally dependent only on the primary key. That is, there is no transitive dependency. Okay. So now what is partial dependency, transitive dependency? Again, you will have to yeah, you can uh, consult my notes also as well as you can consult on any other website. I will not go in detail. The main motive of this video is to just tell you the questions. Okay. Next is explain acid properties in detail. So acid properties first is atomicity, consistency, isolation, durability. What is atomicity? That all the that if a transaction is happening, either all the steps will be taken or there will be no step taken. This is atomicity. Either all, either no. Consistency is that the database after the transaction and before the transaction should be consistent. Like if you want to transfer 5 rupees to the person. So your account should be debited with 5 rupees and the person who is on the receiving end should be credited with the 5 rupees. So this is what a consistency is. Next is isolation. So every transaction on a particular database should be isolated. So if there are 5 to 6 transactions happening simultaneously on a database, then all these, uh, all these transactions should be uh, isolated. It should not interfere with each other. Next is durable, durability. So your uh, database should be durable. That is anything. Uh, it should be recovery. Disaster recovery should be there. It should be durable. Okay. I hope this question is clear to you. Next is write two SQL queries in detail based on sub queries. So the person which gave the interview, he did not remember that what were the exact queries which were asked, but he told me that total two SQL queries were asked uh, from me in writing and they were based on writing the sub queries. 
for example if you try to find the second uh, if you try to find the second highest salary so that is one of the question based on sub queries so like this you can prepare but sql queries are again a very important part of the interviews okay sql queries uh, oops concepts dbms concepts are very important part okay moving ahead so moving ahead the question that was asked was explain oops concepts in java so again if you have watched my previous videos i have told you this question will be asked in 10 out of 10 interviews it's a five star question okay what are oops concepts abstraction encapsulation inheritance polymorphism i will not go in detail i can give you the link in the i button for the video that i have made for explaining these concepts okay so you can watch that next here what is a synchronized keyword in java so the synchronized keyword in java is used to control access to a method or a block of code among multiple threads so if multiple threads are going on and if you want that this method should be uh, uh, invoked by a single thread only at a time then we can use a synchronized keyword okay this is what a synchronized keyword means in a simple term okay and guys if you are watching this video till here i hope you are liking the video you are finding it useful please hit that like button and subscribe button for this channel because it gives us immense confidence in making more such videos okay and again i want to tell you that uh, we have like yesterday only we have launched this tcs important interview subject notes they will be very much helpful for you all the major subjects are covered here all the important uh, questions for every subject are covered here and it's a very convenient fee for you it's just 99 rupees the links you can find in the description box you uh, it will be very much helpful to have a hands on notes for you to, for preparation of these interviews okay so moving ahead to in the uh, video next is explain your project in detail so again it's a very important question i will give you the link of the video where that i have made that how you have to explain your project in detail but one thing to notice is that the project that you are making you should know the technology of that project you should know like average knowledge you should have like in this case this guy had the project for machine learning so next few questions will be based on machine learning they can be based on machine learning okay so your project knowledge why you made that project what was your idea behind that project what problem you uh, solved okay so all these questions can be asked from you and the questions based on technology can also be asked from you like for next is what is machine learning because his project was based on machine learning so there was certain questions which are asked from machine learning part also and if your project is based on android spring boot then questions can be asked from that so what is machine learning so we simply know machine learning algorithm identify patterns and relationship with the data along the system to improve its performance over time through experience so we want to like predict something that is what is machine learning is we train a model on a data and based on that training trained model we uh, like try to label the data in many things machine learning is used like recommendation systems we are seeing image and speech recognition we are seeing predictive analysis we are seeing so all these things machine learning is useful moving ahead explain supervised and unsupervised learning with example so supervised is the uh, learning from labeled data to predict outcomes for new data whereas unsupervised learning is learning from unlabeled data to find pattern and relationship so what is a labeled data what is an unlabeled data so if you have a picture and the model knows it's a dog so it means it's a labeled data if you have just pictures random pictures of animals and no one nothing is labeled so that, that is a unlabeled data okay so i hope this is clear to you next is what is classification and where we can apply with the help of example so again this classification algorithms are also part of machine learning algorithms where we can apply is healthcare finance stock market image recognition spam detection on all these things classification algorithms can be used okay i hope this question is also clear to you see the motive of this video is to just tell you type of the questions answers are based on your project that you are doing okay so for some this machine learning questions won't be uh like won't matter because his or her project is on uh, let's suppose android so yeah these things happen okay next is explain key features of python now you will be asking sir like earlier you told that only one language you have to prepare either java c++ or python but in this particular interview only questions from java has also been asked questions from python has also been asked so see again i am telling you everything depends on your project also there will be one main language for you and then there will be the technology that you are using in the project so you should have to prepare for all these things okay any question related to your project can be asked from you explain key features of python easy to learn interpreted language dynamically typed extensive standard libraries support multiple paradigms so all these are the features of python moving ahead again a very common question difference between list and tuples and uh, major difference is that list are uh, mutable tuples are immutable list are little slow tuples are fast lists have 
tuples are more memory efficient okay so again guys if you are watching this this like video you will be understanding that okay majority of these questions i have already covered in those notes so yeah you can buy buy them and around 70 to 80% of these questions will be repeated I, i can guarantee you that because questions are limited only okay those they keep on limited repeating okay so next is why python is an interpreted language so python is considered as an interpreted language because its code is executed line by line by an interpreter rather than being compiled into a machine code before execution like it happened in java or c++ so therefore python is an interpreted language okay just one line answer will be sufficient for you moving ahead next are some managerial and hr questions that, that were asked from uh, this candidate how would you react to that situation how do you handle conflicts with coworkers so you will you will be given a situation in a managerial round managerial round and you will be asked to give the answer see there is no right or wrong thing in these managerial questions but keep your answer positive that okay how any conflict comes how will you resolve it you will always try to resolve it you won't be running away from these conflicts or you won't be ignoring them you will always try to solve them always give give them the method of solving you can conduct meetings with that guy you can like go to lunch with that guy okay you can try to understand his approach also your approach also you can come into a middle way also so all these things are towards solving the conflict not running away from conflict always give give them the positive answers okay and if you have missed the like button till now please hit that like button it gives us motivation for making more such videos okay if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section we will be happy to answer you okay next question is what makes you different from all other people in this panel for hiring you so again in this you will have to tell that why you why you are capable of doing the job they are asking for okay which others are not so like this you will have to like highlight your positive points to the interviewer okay and what makes you different from other people again no right or wrong answer it will totally depend on your perspective that how do you take yourself okay moving ahead are you comfortable working with shifts so they can give you night shift or morning shift so always say yes that you are work- comfortable in working the shifts again when you get placed then the answer that you are giving here will not matter it will only depend on the projects that you get that in which shifts they are okay so i hope this question is also clear to you moving to the next question are you comfortable with relocation so you can answer yes also here because in the end again when you are getting placed they will ask you that what is your preferred location so say yes in this particular question the last question is why would you like to join tcs so why you want to join the tcs company this is the one question that many of you will be feeling that why you want to join tcs so i would suggest that just read two to three positive news about tcs recently and just tell them so that it gives a good impression to them that okay you really have researched about the company and you want to join them okay so this these are all the questions in which we have covered technical round questions also managerial round questions also and hr round questions also if you have any doubts you can always add in the comment section we will be happy to help you and again i would be suggesting you to buy these notes they are at very very feasible rates plus we have like a uh, lot of subjects that are covered lot of questions important interview questions have been covered based on tcs okay so i hope all things are clear to you still you have any doubts you can add in the comment section thank you for watching this video